Thank God we shall overcome. We certainly appreciate those of you that have tuned in to this time with the IGAP Network, the International Gathering of Apostles and Prophets Network. Amen. That God is raising up to publish the gospel globally, worldwide. Now, our podcast and our voice print goes into over 32 countries besides the United States. And we certainly give God the glory for that. Today, we're going to deal again with euthanasia. What is euthanasia? Usually, it's applied uh, imposed death on animals. Now, euthanasia is legal in six states in the United States, not for four-legged animals, but for people, humans. Someone has stated that if euthanasia would go national, the doctors, doctors, and nurses would take advantage of the fact and put people to death on purpose to harvest organs and other parts of their bodies for science purposes and other purposes. But you know what? It's up to the people of God to get up and to know what is happening. Jesus said, you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free. What are we looking for now? There are so many political issues, but with the people of God, even though we are citizens of the United States, those of us that live here, we want to be mindful that more than that, God has made us citizens of an eternal kingdom. A kingdom that God has established to rule in the earth. Jesus said, if we suffer with him, we shall also reign our EIG in with him. Jesus is coming again as king of kings. The government shall be upon his shoulders. And all the issues will be according to his judgment, his dictates. And all of his judgments and all of his dictates are built on the solid word of God. In St. John, the 5th chapter and the 24th verse, Jesus said this, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Going on in the 26th verse, Jesus said this, For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. What is Jesus uh, relating to? God, our God, is a God of life. And therefore we are to be in favor of life. This is the reason why God had Jesus to receive 39 stripes on his back that people would be healed because God is a God of life. God is not in favor of death even though he will receive his people amen when they expire but God is a God of life. He's a lover of life. He's a giver of life and we are to be the same. If you have not yet surrendered to this God of life to be the captain and the designer for the rest of your life, I'm inviting you to do that. Jesus said, repent and be baptized. Rather be a uh, repent and believe the gospel. And then the apostles, of course, amen, uh, followed up with repent and believe the gospel. Amen. Repent. What is repentance? Becoming godly sorry for sins and turning from them. Now I'm going to pray. If you want to be saved, talk to God. Say, Lord, save me. Forgive me for my sins. And God will. If you really mean it, God will step into your life and change you. Amen. And we give God the glory that he has changed us. Now God, we praise you for the blood. Hallelujah. We thank you for the finished work of Jesus Christ. And we loose the power of God now upon hearers that are not 
saved, not yet committed and surrendered to you, Lord Jesus. Lord, and we lose conviction that repentance would be in their hearts every day. And we give you the glory as they go on in you, Lord, to know you and to find their place in the body of Christ as you would assign them. In the name of Jesus, we lose strength on the people of God now, everywhere, globally, worldwide. We lose the strength of God, which is the joy of the Lord. Lord, we lose joy in your people now, and we'll give you the glory. Amen. Listen, beloved, June the 3rd and the 4th, June the 3rd and the 4th, we will have a share We will have a share June the 3rd and the 4th. Amen. We're in the process of a great soul winning time this spring, summer, and fall. We're looking forward to the souls that will be saved because of witnessing, because of preaching and teaching. Amen. That's going forth even now. We're putting our tent up starting with June the 10th through the 15th. Our tent will be up. Amen. Praise God. And everything going as planned. And we believe God will be with us and favor us. That our tent will be able to be up. Amen. For our convocation crusade camp meeting. Amen. We're going to put it all in one. Amen. And we're giving the glory. But listen. We need you to respond to us. We need you to write. Amen. June the 3rd through the 15th. I'm sorry. June the 3rd through the 4th is our share that we're going to have a fundraiser in the behalf of our ministry. Amen. Praise God. So we're inviting you to write us at AJM Ministries. Or just cut it short. AJMM. And then send your donation to AJMM. 7203 South Emerald Avenue. We'll have that. Amen. On our website www.ajmministries.com You can write us at 7203 South Emerald Avenue Chicago, Illinois 60620 Amen. We're directing all of our communications now to our office. Let us drive and go forward and we're asking Amen that you would help us. We have equipment that we must purchase. We've already stepped out in faith. and, Amen. We have purchased something that was very much needed. Amen. In the tent ministry and in all, all other ministries, you have to have transportation. And so we did, amen, step out and purchase something. But we want you to know that uh, there's other equipment that we must purchase. Amen. And we're inviting you to help us. We're encouraging you. We are a 501c3 tax exempt organization and we're uh, encouraging you to give, to sow into this ministry. Amen. Praise God. Again, that's June the 3rd and the 4th that we will be in a share at 72nd and Emerald, 7203 South Emerald, Chicago, Illinois. And you can write us there at our office, 7203 South Emerald. Chicago, Illinois, 60620. And share as God will bless you your 10s, your 20s, your 30s, dollars, and $100. Whatever God would have you to give. Amen. You know ministry is like any other thing. It costs. And we want you to know that God will definitely bless you as you sow into this good ground. As we go off today, saints, stay encouraged and send us an email. Let us know what God is doing for you at ajmministries at yahoo.com. ajmministries at yahoo.com. Now, God bless you until tomorrow.